Hey guys, it's Aon Motor Reviews, and here's the Bronco Nation uh, with the Warren Elite uh, Series front bumper with the grill guard tube. Now, for the last several days, images and write ups of Warren's Elite Series front bumper with the grill guard tubes have been circulating, and our outlets, including Motor Trend, Bronco 6G, has shared their thoughts on the bumper, and the Bronco Nation uh, po posted about this on the forums. And the camera relocation instruction. Now the Warren Elite series front bumper with the grill guard tube is priced at $1,799.99. And yes, it's made in the USA. Tested to 12,000 pounds. Integrated off-road uh, jack lifting points. Welded one-piece construction. Uses 316 thick steel. Bumper available with or without grill guard tube. The grill guard constructed of large diameter welded steel tubing for maximum durability, uh, welded eyelets for the D-shackles, providing increased recovery options. Now, bumper design provides generous tire clearance and accommodate oversized tires, integrated uh, light ports to mount aftermarket fog lights. Now, the Bronco forward-facing camera is going to be blocked by the grill guard tube. Now, it's an upright mounted winch control box. However, buyers can retain the camera functionality if they select the Elite Bumper without the grill guard tube and relocate the winch control pack from the top. The wrench, the control box relocation hardware is available too. Let's take a look at this uh, Warren winch and actually it is nice folks. Take a look at this. This is the uh, piece right here. And as you can see, the uh, and they say uh, if if you uh, without the guard tube, that you have to get it without the guard tube. Now this right here is the guard tube right here. Let's see, Warner Ford integrated design on a 2021 Bronco camera is an issue for the Ford Performance Bronco winch kit, as well as showcasing the built wild accessory line. Now while the kit was co-developed by Ford and Warren engineers for OEM levels, the finished durability and vehicle integration it is only available on the 2021 Broncos without the front camera. However, even with that limitation, the beauty of adding a built wild kit to your Bronco is its design tie-in to adding a heavy chunk of metal to the front of your vehicle could be a problem for safety. Now Ford had not planned for an, for an advance, according to Ford Chief Program Engineer Eric Lauflier, the Bronco was crash tested with and without the Warren winch kit. Once you add the optional kit to your Bronco, your software will be reflashed at the dealership so airbags deploy as designed. So don't forget to get that done. Now, if you get this winch kit, that is. Now, all that to say whether you're going with the OE modular front bumper plus the uh, built wild for performance Bronco winch kit or the elite series of front bumper and winch Warren understands the exact specs of your Bronco for many off road wrenches will not be heated needed but if you're gonna outfit your vehicle with a winch and a bumper to support it it may be a good idea to choose a manufacturer well aware of your vehicle specification So this is what, I mean, and this winch looks quite nice. Let's take a, let's take a look too at the Warren website too as well. Well, of course it's for $17.99.99. Design and engineered made in USA. Yes, contact the Warren authorized retailer for availability. And this is what you have it, as we said, tested to 12,000 pounds, welded eyelets for D-shackles, providing increased recovery options, and bumper design provide generous uh, tire clearance and accommodates oversized tires, integrated uh, light ports uh, to mount aftermarket fog lights, as you can see. Now... Let's go in. Is this 
just take a look at this and let's let's check a take a look at this website. Let's look at some of the other Warren products as well. Now have a Array for trucks and SUVs, uh, power sports, utility, and industrial. So they got a um they have a uh, a well a well thought up thought of product and well engineered how to stretch the winch rope. So you bought a worn winch and have it mounted to your ready to pull cable, right? Well, not quite. This is what you'll need. Let's see what they're saying about the tips. Tag tip, how to stretch the rope. This is stretching the winch rope is a critical step to setting up your winch. Whether you have a truck or a power sport winch, still or synthetic line, why do you need to do it? It says when you get your winch, the rope is either not on the drum or has simply been wrapped around the drum, but not under tension. Now, stretching the rope under tension allows you to evenly place the rope onto the drum. And when done correctly, will prevent the rope from bunching up onto itself. And when under load, potentially crushing the rope beneath itself and damaging the line. So let's check out the, and this right here is a YouTube video, so I can't really play it because it belongs to YouTube. But if you want to, you just type in how to stretch the, uh, the wind rope. So you're going to have to know how to stretch this, uh, this uh, winch rope if you do decide to get it. And take a look at that video and show you how to do it. It's just an important tip. I mean, as some of us who are new off-roaders, we're going to have to know these things. And let's uh, look at some of the products that they have to offer, which we saw earlier. Synthetic versus steel. Prepare for your next adventure. And let's look at the hook. The uh, let's look at the Warren hook strap, right quick. Now the Warren hook strap is meant for decoration on your winch hook. It's, a, it's an essential item for the proper handling of the rope hook. It's made to keep your hands and fingers far away from the winch and fair lead when spooling lying in. So when you're done with your pulling task, you need to spool your line onto the drum. Hold onto the hook strap as the hook comes back toward the uh, fair lead. It's a simple and effective precaution and other uses. So, so over the years, we've seen some of the rather creative uses of the hook strap. This includes luggage tags, <laughs> dog collars, using multiple straps, and even door straps on Jeep Wranglers. But the hook strap original intention was to keep hands and fingers at a safe distance when putting line back onto a winch. Yes, and it's very important. All of the pulling products include the strap, rather is truck power sport utility our industrial winch we highly suggest you use it and replace yours if it has fallen off or become damaged so this is it this is a hook strap folks and you want it and you want to use it just like this gentleman's using it here when you bring that line back you don't want you want to keep your fingers protected Let's go back and look at some more of these products. There's so many different things to learn. Synthetic versus steel. Synthetic rope is uh, lightweight and easy to handle. Steel rope is exceptionally durable and long lasting. Warren offers both synthetic and wire rope on most of his winches. But which one is best for your application? 
Let's see, there's nothing to highlight here. Last layer, more power. Let's see what that's about. Now, winch maximum capacity is always rated at the last layer of the rope on the drum. So, if you need to get the uh, most power out of your winch, you need to get down closer to the last layer. This can be done in a couple of ways. First, you can simply pull out the single line to your anchor. Now, assuming the anchor is far enough far away. But, if your anchor is close, you and you don't have the ability to simply pull out the, li the lot of line using a snatch block, such as the Epic Snatch Block, available for both truck and, and power sport vehicles, can help get more line out. Since you'll double it back to the vehicle using more line, you'll also double your pulling power, but half your speed. No matter how you do it, always remember to leave at least five reps of wire rope or a full layer synthetic rope on the drum. Otherwise, you can run the risk of pulling the line off the wrench, and that's not what you want to do. Makes a lot of sense. Now, for more rigging information, see the basic guide to wrenching techniques. We'll take a look at that. Now, whether you have a truck or a power sport vehicle, the same basic technique still applies. Let's look at the best guide to winching technique. There's a lot of information. You got the 2021-22 product application guide. You got the new product guide. You got the international product guide. You got the consumer brochure. You got the best guide to winching technique domestic and the basic guide to winching technique international. So there's a lot of information on this, and there's a lot that we have to know. You know, if you're going to use a winch, you have to really study it and learn how to use it and use it properly. This is the Automotive Reviews. I hope this video was helpful. There's so much to learn. There's so much to know. I can't look. I look. You know, I look forward to one day getting my truck and getting into off-roading. But I'm going to be well educated before I get out and do it. And I know you guys already got your rigs. And you already got your Broncos. And if you don't get it, you'll be getting it within the next two years. Hopefully, and um, you'll know how to use the equipment. Just wanted to share with you guys the Warren, the Warren Winch website. Take a look at it and see what they got to offer. And this is the, uh, the mounting winch accessories. These are all the things. Once you start down this path, there's so much to get. You got the hub and the wheels, closeout deals, support, uh, replacement parts. It's another part of the vehicle to upkeep and to make sure it's running properly. Hub and wheels, winch accessories, which we see here. Off-road accessories, hub wireless winch control, ropes and uh, fair leads, rigging accessories, and remote and electrical. This is just some other stuff, not regarding the Bronco though. This is the Winch website. Thanks, guys, for um, coming by. Thanks for um, subscribing. And um, thanks for, thank you for your time. And this is A Automotive Reviews. Hey, you guys, A Automotive Reviews. Remember, like, share, subscribe. And thanks for coming to the channel. I appreciate you. Until then, we out.